In the late 1950s, innovation in transportation was at its peak, and the Curtis Wright Corporation, known for its wartime aircraft like the P-40 and SB-2C Helldiver, embarked on an ambitious project to revolutionize ground transportation. The United States Army's Transportation Research Command was seeking a versatile troop transport, and Curtis Wright responded with the groundbreaking Model 2500 aircar. The Curtis Wright Model 2500 aircar, developed in 1959, was a ground effects machine, essentially a hovercraft. Powered by two 180-horsepower Lycoming aircraft engines, the air car rode on a cushion of air created by two enormous vertical ducted fans. This air cushion lifted the vehicle 10 to 15 inches off the ground, allowing it to carry a payload of up to 1,000 pounds and reach speeds of up to 38 miles per hour over land or water. The design of the air car was a blend of automotive and aerospace engineering. It featured a large, blocky body styled after the automotive trends of the day, complete with dual headlights, turn signals, fenders, and bumpers. The four-abreast cabin was fitted with a convertible top, an automotive-style dashboard, and a steering wheel. The steering wheel, combined with a boat-like hand throttle, controlled four banks of variable louvers at each corner of the body. These louvers siphoned off fan air for forward propulsion, steering, and braking. In 1960, the Army Transportation Research Command purchased two air cars for engineering evaluation. The vehicles were tested extensively, but they faced significant challenges. While the air car performed well on flat, unobstructed land and water, it struggled on rocky or hilly terrain. The vehicle could not handle inclines beyond a 6% grade, and the noise from the engines was a major issue. The military deemed the air car unsatisfactory for field use, and the project was abandoned in 1961. Despite its military rejection, Curtis Wright attempted to salvage the project by modifying the designs for civilian use. A smaller, stylish concept called the B was drawn up, but it never reached production. The air car's high cost, estimated at $15,000 in 1960, equivalent to $133,557 in 2020, and limited practicality made it unappealing for both military and civilian markets. Today, at least one Curtis Wright Model 2500 air car survives. It is housed at the United States Army Transportation Museum at Fort Eustis, Virginia. This remnant of a bygone era of innovation serves as a testament to the ambitious efforts of Curtis Wright to push the boundaries of transportation technology. The legacy of the Curtis Wright Model 2500 air car lives on in modern efforts to develop flying cars and other innovative transport solutions. The United States Air Force's Project Agility Prime, for instance, is exploring the concept of orbital resupply buses, which could revive the idea of flying buses. While the air car may not have achieved commercial success, it remains a fascinating chapter in the history of transportation and aerospace engineering. The Curtis Wright Model 2500 air car stands as a testament to mid-20th century engineering ambition, a bold experiment that dared to reimagine transportation, even if the world wasn't quite ready.